Hi guys, it's reaction time. We've got Atlantis Drive and way back when. Before we get onto the reaction, huge thank you to Oz Hall Peterson's Rendezvous for sending me their newest self-titled debut album. Brilliant AOR. If you love late 80s melodic rock and AOR, you absolutely love this. They sent me the album. They sent me the CD. Thank you very much to the band for sending me that. Okay, on to the reaction. Atlantis Drive, way back when. So it says it's the first single from the upcoming self-titled album by the hard rock group Atlantis Drive. It's going to be released on June the 16th, guys. Um, in this band, we've got some great names in this band. Mark Bowles on vocals, amazing vocalist. We've got Marcus Pfeffer on guitars and bass. Obviously, Marcus Pfeffer is such a busy man. Um, Lazarus Dream bought out a great, great album this year. He was on that. That's his, that's his baby, if you like. On Simps, you've got Yoris Gilbald. And on the drums, you've got Marcus Coleman. Um, Okay, really looking forward to this. I've heard about this coming out quite a while ago, so I've been looking forward to the first song. This is Atlantis Drive. This is way back when. Here we go. God, that's melodic, man, that's so catchy. Just all the way through, it's just an earworm completely. Very sort of pop sensibilities in this, I would say. And that's not a dig at the band, obviously. You know, they're a melodic rock band, the guitars are there, but the pop sensibilities of the song are fully there in full force. Um, yeah, it's just catchy from the beginning. It's sort of almost got a, it's very catchy, but it's almost got this, there's a lot going on with the rhythm section, almost like, I'm not saying it's proggy or anything, but it's got those sort of tendencies, you know, where it's a bit stop start in places, which is cool. But it's very, you know, it's not just straightforward, just linear, just going for it in one rhythm. It's got lots of stop starts and lots of interesting stuff to uncover as well. Um, synths are quite high up in the mix. They're almost doing this very cool little tune, especially in the um, 
this very melodic little you know tune going on in the background and the chorus it's sort of almost do 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 sort of thing really you know bringing the catchiness forward even more great vocals by mark bowles he's very smooth in this isn't he he's done some heavier stuff than this this is very aor so he's very smooth in his vocal delivery um i mean i i people go on <laughs> lyrically people go on at me for like you know, you sound old or whatever, talking about, you know, when we were, oh, I'm going to sound old, but, you know, lyrically, this really sort of chimes in with how I feel now, you know, I mean, I depend on social media, even now, because of the channel, and I probably spend too much time on social media, um, definitely too much time, I think we all do, you know, and when I, when I say that sort of stuff, I'll get, you know, people look at me, younger people, as if say, oh, here we go, I'll get, you know, but, you know, it, it was a real, from what I can remember, <laughs> we really did enjoy life to the fullest. And the biggest gripe about today is that people do not talk to each other enough. You know, they don't even want to call each other. They'd rather text and call each other. I was talking the other day, you know, when, when you wanted to ask a girl out you were interested in when you was younger, you know, you actually had to talk to her. You actually had to do that in the in the old days. You actually either face to face. I know it's scary, kids. I know. <laughs> or even ring them. You could ring them and they'd pick up the phone and you would talk. Um, not a mobile phone, but one, you know, that you had to dial like that on. <laughs> God. <laughs> but it's true. And... And I think that's what's missing these days. People hiding behind their phones, hiding behind, you know, these keyboard warriors. I get them have digs at me, you know. People have digs at me on, on the channel, you know, on Facebook or on comments under the videos, you know. But it's just these days, you know, I'd rather if, if I if I do go on on YouTube and I, I belong to a lot of YouTube, you know, channels. If I don't like a song, I don't comment. <laughs> That's why <what laughs> I'd rather than put something nasty or something or against the person running the channel, I just won't comment. I'll just leave it rather than put something horrible. But that's just the way I am. But a lot of people these days, you know, they're behind a keyboard. You know, that's the only time they've got balls in it to actually say something behind a keyboard. Keyboard warriors. You know, that's just what it is. But, you know, face to face, they probably wouldn't say anything to your face, you know, but it's just all, all mouth, isn't it? Um, but anyway, veering off the subject, but a very cool subject, you know, and something that really does, you know, I, I, I'm in touch with a lot at my age, you know. We've been through that stage of getting friends properly, not, not just Facebook friends. And by the way, I've got to say a thank you to social media in some ways, because I've made friends on social media, people like Ralph and Dom and Jam and Mark and so on, all the idiots, you know. So people I've never met, but, you know, there's a respect there and there's some good things about social media, but definitely more negative things. Anyway, here we go for the rest. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> 
a really fun song. It's really weird. It's it's really fun, but lyrically it makes me a little bit sad at the same time. <laughs> you can't have everything. It's a really fun tune to listen to, though, for sure, where it's so melodic and catchy. I love the little guitar bits, actually. Marcus Pfeffer's doing all this, almost like this. Uh, you know, it's an AOR song, but it's almost got like a Maiden feel as well. It's sort of got these sort of uh, guitar harmonies that are very cool indeed, get running through it, a lot of it. Love that, man. Love that. Put a smile on my face, but maybe think about better times as well. That's what the song's all about. But man, that was cool. That was Atlantis Drive way back when. Remember, it's the first single from the upcoming self-titled album. It's coming out on June the 16th, 2024. Let me know what you think of that in the comments below, and I'll see you soon.